Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Gabrielle McBay and I'm back with another video. This time we are going over the world of chicken breast. Chicken breast can be a very simple but complex protein to cook. So I want to show you guys how to make a perfect juicy chicken breast without it being dry. First off, I'm going to start by seasoning my chicken with salt, pepper and whatever spices you like to use that could be cajun seasoning that could be lemon pepper whatever you like to use on your chicken i also really love using fresh herbs so that could be parsley basil thyme cilantro um, just to give your chicken a bit of a facelift appearance visual wise but also taste wise it just kind of helps lift up the flavor of your chicken breast so I'm going to massage all of those spices and seasonings in there so that we can have good flavor in every bite of our chicken. That matters, it matters just like this. We just wanna add a little character. That's all, just a little more character. Then I'm gonna put my chicken breast in a hot skillet. So I love use cast, using cast iron, it's my favorite type of skillet, but if you are using a regular skillet, that'll work fine too. I like to use either grapeseed oil or avocado oil, just because those oils have a really high smoke point. Also vegetable or canola oil will work well as well. It's just not as healthy. I will say browning and searing chicken with olive oil probably is not gonna get it super brown. So try to use grapeseed or avocado oil if you can. I'm gonna sear those on the first side for about three to four minutes, depending on the thickness of your breast and also how many you have in your skillet. I'm gonna flip those with tongs, not a fork, just because I don't wanna pierce my chicken. That way the juices will come out if you pierce it. And we don't really wanna do that. So when you're browning it, you just wanna leave it in the pan on one side, undisturbed, don't move it around, don't shuffle it around. You wanna just get a nice sear by leaving it alone and then flipping it after about three to four minutes. So our chicken breast will look a little similar to this before we put it in the oven on 400 degrees. Like I said, depending on how many breasts you have and the thickness of them, we're gonna put it in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. But you can also kind of look and see if your chicken breasts are ready to come out. You can use a thermometer to see what temp they're at. I encourage, of course, 165 at least. You can also kind of tell your chicken breasts are about ready to come out when they start looking real kind of sweaty, like they'll be glistening at you. It's like they talking to you. Go ahead and spoon that oil over the chicken while it's cooking. And also when it comes out, just to get some of that fat back into that chicken with a lot of the flavor that you just seared it with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my favorite way to make chicken. It's super easy to do during the week. If you're doing meal prep, you wanna put it over a pasta, or if you just want some slices of chicken breast, this is what you got. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the kitchen next time very, very soon.